Hi everybody. So I'm going to go ahead and do the sketch from uh, March 23rd. And this one's a fun one. It's got some mixed media underneath and a lot of stars. And it looks like um, a horizontal picture, but I think you could, you could turn it either way and go with the um, vertical as well. And then a title. So I haven't picked out my pictures yet, but more than likely I will be picking um, pictures from my oldest grandson's birthday. Um, he had his birthday, um, he's born on Labor Day, so I've done the youngest one, and, or the middle one now, and so I'll go ahead and do some of Dylan's. So from the paper pads that we've worked with so far, this is all that I have left from the photo play. Well, first of all, I made this, which I thought was a pretty good example of what's in the sketch with the stars and the rings. I just did this on my Cricut Maker, and then I cut it out in black cardstock. So this is going to represent um, this section, and then I figure I can cut out some stars with colored paper just to give it another pop, but this is the start. So from this photo play happy birthday pack, um, and this is Party Boy. I want to just pick my background, so um, I don't want that. I was kind of thinking this one, even though it's busy with the happy birthdays, I thought if we had the mixed media on there and then matted the photos with um, you know, a lot of colorful paper that that might work. So this is kind of my, I'm thinking might be the one, but let me just put it to the side. Um, this one's obviously cut up, but I can use this for matting. Now I have the yellow one, which I like, but um, and it's got a little bit of like a streamers on it, but it just kind of looked bumblebee kind of coloring to me, and I just wasn't feeling the yellow. Um, and I don't know how it would look with mixed media on it. On the other side of this is just gift hats. And I think even though the happy birthday is would be busy, I think this would be busier because it's um, instead of words, it's icons. So I'm thinking no on this one, although I can use it for layering. I do like red. I'm just not sure about the mix to media on this. And this side is birthday cakes. Um, this one's not as bad as the other one, but I'm not sure. Again, I'm kind of leaning towards that happy birthday. And here's my stickers. I'll just put these to the side for now. And then I do like the green because it's a little bit more subtle. And then I really love this. And if I did this one, I could actually get away with not doing the mixed media because this kind of would represent the mixed media look. All right, I'm going to go with that. So this is what my game plan is. I'm going to go ahead and use the, the cut file on this um, and not do actual mixed media. The splatters from the paper design will be my mixed media. And then I need to find one that I can mat it on. So let me see here. So it's either going to be matting it with the red or matting it with the yellow. There's the red. Now I like it with the yellow. It brightens it up. So what I'm going to do is off camera, I'm going to go ahead and cut the branding strip off of here. I'm going to go ahead and gut um, this paper um, and just use it for a frame. And then I'll go ahead and pick out some pictures and we'll just see where we can go. My hope is, is that with there being very little of this um, paper pack left that I can actually maybe get this one killed because um, there's really not a whole lot left in it. I can get a couple more layouts out of it. So let me put you on pause and we'll get some pictures going and get the layers going and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and what I went ahead and did was um, 
or I should say what I have gone ahead and done. My English is not good today. <laughs> um, I went ahead and matted the um, splatter paper onto the yellow. I haven't glued the cut file down yet um, because I probably want to tuck some of these photos in. And then I have a picture of Dylan blowing out his candles and he let his little brother also blow out a candle, which I thought was sweet. And then here is a picture of him with his Pokemon. It drove my husband crazy. All he asked for for his birthday was Pokemon stuff. And my husband's like, huh? What is Pokemon stuff? <laughs> so um, no trucks, no bulldozers, no Nerf guns, Pokemon, which I think is adorable. So I'm going to go ahead and see if we can get this tucked in. I'm thinking I want like this one, like this. Because I want to be able to see all the stars. And I want to be able to see the cupcakes, or at least some of the cupcakes. Let's see here. Maybe like that. That's not bad. And I just got to make sure the stars are on. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and glue it down like this. So I'm going to start with this one underneath, if I can do it without moving everything totally around. Let me just grab this out. And then what I also did was I hopped back onto my Cricut, and for their birthday party, um, we had, or I should say I had made them some Pokemon stickers. And I just, you know, went on to the internet and found some images. And with my Cricut, I was able to do a print and cut, which is one of the features that the Cricut has, or their design space has. And so, um, just tilt that just a little bit. Okay. And then he's going to go there. I think that looks okay. Maybe over this way just a little bit. Um, so I had made them stickers and so what I just did while I was off camera is I went and found the file that I had made the sticker images with that was saved in my design space and I went ahead and um, did the print and cut feature onto cardstock. And I didn't cut them with my Cricut. I just um, cut them out on my own. Put, let me just tack this down. Because that keeps shifting. Put that where I want it. All right. I'm going to shift this, or pack that down. Now these should stop shifting. So anyways, I have these that I will use as some of my embellishments um, because it was a Pokemon party. And part of the story will be about what he asked for. Um, Grandma gives them what they want because that's what grandmas do. And he, they each got to... Um, say what they wanted as their special gift for their special party and he wanted Pokemon so that's what he got so I'm thinking like right here I can add this is the title and then it covers up that little gap and I did pull out some birthday stuff as well 
I just don't want to cover it up to where, because there's not that many stars on here, so I want you to be able to tell, you know, that you have your points, that those are the stars. And then let's see. And I, like I said, I, I really like this little guy. This is Pikachu. I thought he could tuck in. Maybe we'll tuck him up there. And I'm happy I'm using up my using my Cricut. Um, you know, I, I have it. I used to use it in the past all the time, and I still do use it quite a bit. But it's nice when you can get tools out that you, you know, that you have. All right. Not sure where I want the Powerball. Is that what they call it, a Powerball? I think, keep thinking of the lottery. I think that will look cute tucked down there. My kids had gotten, when Pokemon first came out, my boys were really little. And it was like almost next to impossible to try and find them, the Pokemon cards. So I was really surprised when he asked for one for his birthday. Because I didn't think they knew anything about it. I didn't think that was still a thing. All right, so I have one of the power ball things with each of the star clusters. I have my little Pokemon peeking up, or Pikachu. Um, I think I'll put a Pikachu here. And then we'll do another, like one of the Pikachus, like right here. Or I can just have them like that. All right, my cat's coming in for the, to say hi, no. I may have to put him on pause to, oh, he changed his mind. That's a good thing. How was that? All right, we're going to go with that one. All right, now from the um, sticker sheet, I have one, like, birthday present sticker left. And I thought I could stick that underneath, like that. And then I thought Pokemon got to catch them all and then put his name here, Dylan. I may have to recenter this a little bit. Is L. Okay, now that is really like blending in. So I think I need to cut a little piece of red paper to poke out below for the Dylan to go onto. So I'm gonna move these to the side for just a minute. Let's see, I've got it. I 
I'm just going to cut a little piece of red and um, fishtail it on each side. And I do have my little fishtail punch. All right, so if I tuck that underneath, now when I go and put the dill in on, it should um, stand out a little bit better. Actually, let me move him down. No, nope, he's not gonna move. I'm not liking how short that it did it with a fishtail. Let me cut another piece. I think I just want to flag one side and not both. And let's see, now I can put him back on. All right, I like that. And now we can just put Dylan here. All right. So now I do want like a number six on here because he was six years old. So I can just tuck a little six right there. And then I did pull out my, um, since there's no more stickers on that sheet that came with the collection, I did pull out my um, sticker folder and I do have some of these like presents and things that I pulled off from the last time so let me turn him and these kind of are the right colors with the, the yellow And the blue. Can add another present down. Actually, I'll do a blue one down there. So let me put all the presents up here. And then we'll put another one down here. And then we have this have fun I can put on. And that kind of, I just need to make sure I can see the little pokeball eye thing. It just needs to get raised up just a little bit.
Those are going to need a little bit more glue, which I'll put on afterwards. And then this one just says celebration. It's got more on top than on the bottom, so I'm just going to level this off. Cut that little extra off. All right. I think this is going to do it. So I'm going to call this one done. Um, I think it turned out pretty close to what the sketch was. Again, using the mixed media paper versus making my own. And then um, doing some of the Pokemon stuff instead of the, in addition to the stars. So I want to thank you for stopping by. And um, we will try and get a couple more of these up this weekend and kind of get caught up. So we will see you again.